Did you know that contributions can be imported directly from a CSV file? Yes, this is the recommended option for when you have a large number of giving transactions needing to be added to the giving screen. And this saves a great deal of time, especially if you're just getting started to use the giving screen and have a few months worth of giving data that needs to be put in. Cool. So let's show them how to do it. Okay, let's do it. So in your church track account, we're on the home and dashboard screen. That's simply the first thing you see when you log in. We're going to go to the giving and pledges screen because that's where you record all of your contributions. Fair enough. Now, when you're just getting started, you may have to add a batch date because there won't be any batches or any dates added to your account yet. Okay. So we'll click the add button and we'll just use today as an example, but you'll select whatever date somebody donated to your church. Okay. Now from here, I can click the add contributions button and record donations manually. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of work and that's a lot of time. Again, if you have several months, you're trying to backdate and add right. to the account. Right, right. So instead, we're going to do the import. And to get to the import contributions menu, there is an actions button at the very bottom, right next to that add date that I clicked earlier. So I'll click the actions button. And in this little pop-up menu, there is an import contributions option. So I'll click that. And that opens up the import contributions slide out menu. Now, before we go any further, I want to make you aware there is this drop down menu at the top. And in this drop down menu, you can select an online giving provider. So if your church is using one of these like Givelify or PushPay or Tithely, you can click on that. And that tells our system where the import is coming from. Right. And the formatting that it's And needed. the formatting so that our system can read the spreadsheet you're pulling in. So all you have to do at this point is log into that account export the transactions, and then import the document they give you into this menu here. However, what does a church do if they're not using any of those options? They have to do it manually. They have to do it manually, but it's not manually like adding contributions one at a time. Nope, they can configure a whole spreadsheet for this matter. Exactly. So if you have been recording your donations in like an Excel spreadsheet, which a lot of churches are doing, Absolutely. so maybe you are as well, you're in luck. You can just pull in that, that spreadsheet Oh, there's oh. a little bit more to that, Matt. Oh, okay. So there is a format requirement. So that's where our user guide comes in. Mm -hmm. So there's a blue link at the top of the screen that Matt's looking at right now, and it says our instructions for importing. This is important because you want to note the manual import format requirements. Mm -hmm. Only the first two um, columns are required and the other ones are optional, but you do need to make sure that the format matches this for it to import correctly. Yes. So if you're doing the manual import, be sure to click that our instructions link at the top of that menu and read this user guide article, especially the manual CSV file formatting section at the bottom. So I actually already have a spreadsheet created to demonstrate this. So I'll cool. go ahead and bring this in. Once you create your CSV file or your spreadsheet of all of your uh, donations, and I got to change the drop down menu, I selected the title. You can do option auto earlier. or manual here. Yep. I'll go ahead and drag and drop this file right over. Easy as that. And the wheel will spin for a second or two, and it tells me that I successfully imported 36 rows but of contributions. But look on your, on your dates, Matt. It shows giving import, too, so you even know by looking at your screen what you imported. Yes, so that's the convenience of doing that import. You can even differentiate between manual uh, 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 contribution entries and the import. That's really and cool. online donations. Yes. Everything. Everything. So yeah. all of that will be delineated right there in those batch dates. That's very cool. But what's cool about that import is I had several weeks of import mm -hmm. data and it created a separate batch date for each date, but still grouped all the donors that gave on that date. Wow. And it's got a category on there. And it's got a category for everything. So that's the convenience of doing the manual or importing contributions process. That kind of took like three seconds versus <laughs> yeah. several hours. Yes. That's awesome. That's the convenience of uh, doing the import contributions. And if you want to learn more about this or other features in ChurchTrack, be sure to go to churchtrack.com slash support. You can easily search our entire user guide to find the answers you're looking for in seconds. Also, be sure to check out our other videos and live script streams on our YouTube channel. And if you're on Facebook, join our Facebook users group where you can get help from a whole community of ChurchTrack users just like you. Until next time, see ya. See ya.